Hi everyone, I'm making this video to go through your plant to plate assignment that will be starting this week. So basically every student, so every one of you is going to complete this booklet here that you see online, okay? And you are going to work in small groups, preferably partners, and that will probably be the normal groups that you have allocated to cook with that we discussed at the beginning of the term. So you can have the same answers in this booklet, all right, but you need to do one each. So I encourage you to work together and help each other, but still record in your own booklets. So we're going to move down and I'm going to read through the design brief with you. Feel free to pause this video at any time, okay? Pause and write in on your sheet so that you can keep notes and even um, write in some of the answers if you think of them as we go along. So up here, we're going to start looking at the design brief. So in pairs or negotiated threes, you are to plan and prepare any type of sandwich. The sandwich must include at least one of the foods planted by our class and be presented in an appealing way. You have a 90 minute lesson, so one double lesson, to prepare and present the sandwich as well as clean up. And all going well, that will be happening in week two of term two. So it won't be happening in this term, it will be happening after we come back in the holidays. So consider your group's cooking skill level when choosing a recipe. Now, just like for our textiles, we had considerations and constraints. So remember, our considerations are flexible criteria. So they're things that we must consider, but we are able to make decisions about. So for example, how we present our food. A constraint is a set criteria, okay? This is the things we have to do in order to complete the practice successfully. So if I write down, or if I note, sorry, some of the considerations that I've come up with, it would be the type of bread that you use, how you present your dish, okay? The type of sandwich you make, any additional ingredients you might need, even the one plant that you need to use in your meal that we have grown, that is a consideration, okay? Because you get to choose which one. However, if we start looking at the constraints side of the table, you have a 90 minute lesson, okay? That's all you get. It is a constraint that you have to use one plant, okay? So you can't use any, all right? You can't use none, sorry. You have to use a plant and you have to work in a group. Now, if we move on here to the evaluation questions. So these questions are going to be answered after the cooking practical. And you need to make about five to six questions, okay? So you need to develop your own evaluation questions based on the considerations and constraints you identified. So for example, how was our food presented to look appealing? What did we do to make sure we completed the prac in 90 minutes? Think about starting with what how or why. This will keep your questions open-ended and you'll be able to provide more of an in-detailed answer. So I've come up with how well did you and your partner work? How did you present your sandwich? What ingredients did you use from the garden? What did you do to make sure you finished on time? List two changes you would make next time. List two things you did well with your partner. Okay, so there are just some ideas there. And if you're struggling with this part, I'd really like you to contact me and I can give you a set list of questions um, that you can answer. But I think that most of you will be able to come up with five to six questions that you will then answer at the end of the assignment. So moving on, we need to be doing some research. So based on the vegetables that we planted in our garden, so we planted things like spinach, rocket, lettuce. We planted heaps of herbs, oregano, basil, parsley, thyme, rosemary, mint, okay? So what we need to do is you need to fill out this table below. So there's an example up along here, okay? So a seedling option is basil. For us, you're lucky one of them has already been done for you because we did plant basil. So you need to find out how long does this plant take to grow from being a seedling to being ready to pick, okay? Does this plant have, um, have other plants it grows well next to or plants it not should be grown near? 
it should not be grown near, sorry. So basil grows well near tomatoes, but basil also grows well near lettuces and things like that because the smell of it keeps bugs away. Water and sun requirements. So how much water and sunshine does the plant need? Ways it can be used in sandwiches or wraps. So basil could be blended into a pesto or topped up with some tomato and put in a sandwich or wrap. Okay, and I want you to go through and list the ingredients or the seedlings that we have grown in our garden and list them and complete this research table. Down here, there's an option for what seedling did you and your partner plant or how did you contribute and help in the garden? We're now going to be looking at preparing and presenting sandwiches and wraps. So this is a bit of an investigation into the topic of sandwiches. So you need to list six different types of sandwiches. Things like a club sandwich, you might use a roll, a wrap, an open sandwich, you might grill it. Okay, have a Google and see what you find. There are four main components of a sandwich. The bread, the spread, the main filling and secondary fillings. So you need to go through and you need to list five types of bread that you might use. Five different types of spreads. Five options for a main filling. So a main filling is going to be something like a meat, so a chicken, a ham, or if you're a vegetarian, something like cheese. It is the heartiness of the sandwich. Secondary fillings are going to be the things like the lettuce, the spinach, tomato, rocket. Some of the things that we grow, grew in the garden will be a secondary filling or they might be made in or mixed in with some of the spreads. This again, I would like you to research and Google this table or even ask someone at home for help. So sandwiches can be presented in many ways. I want you to find four images um, four images of different ways sandwiches can be presented. Write a caption about what you see and list any extra items needed, toothpicks or herbs for garnishing. Now this here is a bit of an extension task, the importance of bees and bugs. So there's a video link up here that links you to YouTube. Okay, you need to watch the video and answer the questions down the side. There are only five questions to answer. Okay, and the YouTube video doesn't go for too long. So that's pretty self-explanatory. There is also this. So you need to choose one of the beautiful bees questions to complete. Present your findings in a creative way that best shows what you have found. Now this is the extension. I will tell you and you will hear from me if this is something I would like you to do. Okay, so if it is something I would like you to do, it will be the Beautiful Bees extension, okay, found in your Plant to Plate booklet. All right, this is pretty self-explanatory as well. Some of them may not be achievable. Visit a beekeeper, for example, might not be able to do that, okay? Now, we're going to start looking at your recipe. So now is a good time to look back over the design brief as well as the considerations and constraints to ensure you have made a suitable sandwich option. So you need to fill this in, your group members, what type of sandwich are you going to make? What plants from your garden, the garden, are we going to use? You need to write an ingredients list and you need to come up with a method of how you're going to make the sandwich. Now, please, if you need more ingredients than the dot points provided or if it takes more than 10 steps to make your sandwich, please just add more on, okay? That's fine. I also want you to start completing a um, design of your presentation. So how will you plate up and present your sandwich? So put an image, sketch, diagram, do whatever you like, as long as you're starting to think about how you are going to present your sandwich. Now, you need to complete a food order. However, we'll do this in class together and I'll give you all of the papers or uh, the paperwork that you need for that. And the lucky last is the evaluation. So based on the questions that you created at the beginning of the, the assignment, you are then going to come through and you're going to list them all here. And you are going to answer these questions in full sentences using descriptive language, using examples, 
and using our home ec terminology to answer these questions to the best of your ability. This will only be done after you have made the actual sandwich, okay? And I'm happy for you to include a picture down below here of what your final product looked like. Down below is what you'll be assessed on, okay? So there's plenty of opportunities for you to do quite well in this assignment, okay? And making the sandwich and coming up with how you're going to present it and being creative in the ingredients that you use is going to help you boost that grade and get um, higher than you may have liked, okay? So I hope this video helped and I look forward to seeing all your work.